Chapter briefing. Two beautiful girls are sipping wine. You'll need a lot of game to get anywhere with them. Are you ready for the challenge? Goal, phone number. Because the other one, we wanted a date, and we only got a phone number. She has hairy legs! Hairy legs. For those of you watching, if you tell me, like, let me know if it's too loud or too soft or... You know, I got it so that way when I start talking, it lowers the music, but I don't know if it's blasting your eardrums when I'm not talking. So, how will you break the ice? Ask them if they are talking about you. If they say no, then ask why not. Say you recognize her from your school. Ask them if they know you, know what you like in a girl. The answer, be your dick. <laughs> Stealthily creep up them from behind the sofa. Ask them if, the, if to help you choose a present for your friend. I like that one. Let's try this one. Hey, girls. Yeah, Sorry, please. excuse me. Can okay. you help me with something really quickly? Uh, yes. Okay. okay, good. Yes, you can. This is, um, tomorrow's my best friend's birthday. Uh -huh. And she's a girl. And she looks kind of similar to you. You know, kind of stylish and stuff. And I want it, she loves fashion. So I want to get her okay. something... You know, like something to do, like jewelry or clothes stuff. You, know. you want to buy her a present? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. want to get her a present. She's just, she's just a friend, yeah. but I want to get her something really cool. She's a good friend. What do you think? Um, maybe you can give her a coupon, like a gift card to mm -hmm. the some store. I don't like know. Zara or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Zara, I don't right? know. Depends on what she likes. Yeah, she likes clothes and stuff. Yeah, so maybe the gift card would work for her. This is the kind of PUA opinion opener. Um, it's very good in that it will often get you into a conversation. So it's a good choice here. Okay. Um, it's pretty much guaranteed to work. So if you have something like this for real, or if you want to use the one in this uh, clip, then it will actually work in the bars. Good <coughs> choice. It's a good choice, not the best choice though, right? Thank them for the advice and ask their names or get a little deeper into the subject. Oh, that's great advice. Thank you very much. No problem. I think she'll like that, yeah. So my name's Richard, by the way. Anastasia. Nice to meet you. Anastasia. Oh, that's, a nice name. Anastasia. that's a good name, too. I'm Richard. <laughs> that's a nice name. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like old English name from oh, yeah? kings and stuff, yeah. Oh, no. Yes, yeah, so very kingly. Very kingly. That's correct, because, you know, I've trained guys all over the world and I see them getting into these kind of present openers, opinion openers, and staying on that subject for five minutes until it dies out and then they have to get out, out of there. So it's very important to transition quickly and a nice way to do it is just to introduce yourself and get their names. So how do you know each other? Uh, from school. From school? Yeah, ah, like well, university. When you were, ah, university. Yeah, college. Not school, like five no, years no, no, old. No, no, no. Okay, and uh, so you're in the same class or something, yeah? Uh, no, we studied different classes. Okay. Only the blonde is talking. I think that you studied fashion <laughs> and I think you studied drama. Is that exactly right? No. No. The opposite. The opposite. <laughs> so oh, you opposite. studied fashion and she studied drama. <laughs> no. <laughs> I studied economics. Uh -huh. Yeah, I started business. Okay. Yeah, so it no, has nothing, nothing to do with drama and fashion. Not really. Not really. <laughs> Related to business between her legs. Oh my god. Compliment her on choosing tough subjects. Go into details, talking to the girl you like. Ask about her favorite modules. Accuse them of being materialistic. Suggest the world would be better without money. Transition to singing. Say that it's cute and easier than a real major like math and science. <laughs> ah, let's go with this one. Compliment her on choosing tough subjects. I like that, you know, because a lot of people, they do like, I don't know, some simple, easy subject, but doing business is, is really nice. I like it. Yeah, but it's kind of a common thing to do in here. Yeah? I think so. What? So you think a lot of girls in this bar study business? No. I don't know. <laughs> I think they study Instagram. <laughs> Wait, did you do well at university? You got good grades? Uh, yeah, it was fine. Mm, yeah, it's cool. Well done. <laughs> You'll notice that in the interactions, we want to balance validation, you know, saying well done, making the girl feel good, with things that are teasy or challenging. And in this case, it's something that they've worked hard on. It's an achievement. So why not say well done, you know, and give them some validation there for that. So how long have you guys known each other? 
for so long. Yeah, no. 40, 40, yes. 42 years. <laughs> Seven years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. You look very young. Oh, thank joking. you. <laughs> Relief. And you know what? I would guess that she's like the crazy one. Yeah. And I think you're the sensible one. So she's getting drunk and you're like, look, chill, come on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sometimes. It yeah. You know, it depends. Don't be shy. <laughs> she can go crazy. And she's the shy one as well. That's cool. Yeah, she is. <laughs> a little bit. Nice. And who's the one who, like, um, who gives good advice out of you two? Or who's the one who has problems and then who's the one that gives advice? Uh, mm. We're girls. We always have problems. Uh, of course, yeah. We're boys. Like, I think she's more. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, all right, cool. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I would say we're equal, kind of. Mm -hmm. Separate but equal. Do the best friends test on them. Ask which one of them is the leader. Look at the girl you're interested in. Tell her she has the most beautiful eyes. Ask her friend to leave you two alone for a little while. Do the best friends test on them. I've never Maybe seen this test. The best friends test. I like these pickup artist games. No. All right, let's do it right now. You ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what shampoo do you use? Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, you don't even need to tell me. You've already passed the best friends test because best friends they communicate unconsciously. So when you ask people, oh. yeah, <laughs> if people are very good, you just did it, it again. <laughs> so if people are really good friends, they always kind of look and then you know give the answer and, if someone okay. asks them something. And yes. if you weren't good friends, you just answer directly. But it's like you're communicating something. Yeah, there you go. Friends. Yay! <laughs> Because just by the, way, the look in the eyes, you communicate so much when you know I each other very well. I pay attention on this. Yeah, oh, pay attention. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's definitely true. Maybe I would do this kind of test. Yeah, try it. <laughs> there you go again. Yeah. <laughs> stop counting. All right, I'll stop. This will work. It's a you know, famous PUA routine. If you learn it, it's something you can go out and use in the bars and clubs. I've seen it work all over the world. And so you can do it. It's just a routine, so it's a bit, you know, it's a bit lame um, in some ways to have something prepared. But if you want to guarantee having conversations with girls, then learning a few of these things is a nice way to get your social skills up and get comfortable talking to beautiful women. Because we're learning. They are very engaging. So what were you doing before you came here? We went for dinner. Ah, uh, dinner, nice. Where'd you go? Italian? Or... <laughs> no, we had some fast food. Yeah, like burgers and fries. Sure. Okay. Tell them what you did, did. Be playful about how it's a little incongruent. Say, yeah, you don't try to watch your figure either. <laughs> Tell them about how you are a vegan and try to convert them. <laughs> Say that it's bad in one way, but good in that she'll put anything in her mouth. <laughs> uh, be playful about how it's a little incongruent. Let's try that. You know what? I do find that a little incongruent. You know, you girls mm -hmm. in your nice dresses, looking all fancy, and then you're just like, oh, eating burgers. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe it feels a little bit weird, but... It's okay once in a while, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This yeah, is, yeah, yeah. You know, it's something that is very safe to tease about. It's not their, you know, their favorite thing in life. It's something that they know they shouldn't do. So it's a nice thing to tease a girl about. Focus on the girl you like, ignore her friend, give both equal attention, give slightly more attention to the one you like. Hmm. No, give both equal attention. I would actually say give attention to the girl you don't like. This won't mess things up, but it's not the best course of action because you do want they the change girls clothes. to understand which one of them you like. Okay. So what do you chicas like to do in your spare time? How about you, <laughs> Anya? I like to dance. You're a dance? Oh, don't say that about yourself. Mm. What did you say? I like to dance. Ah, dancing. Yeah, yeah. nice. Okay. What <laughs> yeah. else? And um, I go to the <laughs> That wasn't very good. All right, cool. And how about you? Oh, I have so many interests. Um, I watch movies. I'm crazy about TV shows. I'm like yeah. a freak. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Funny. Mm -hmm. uh, now... <laughs> playing with my dog okay ask if she means doing very inappropriate things with her dog say that sweet knows most that people with pets are generally more caring say you like dog fighting say you have fish um 
Well, that's interesting actually, because I was reading uh, this thing like a, what was it, in general psychology or something, and okay. it said that um, people with pets, and especially dogs, and is it a boy or a girl? Or a, dog? a boy. Ah, perfect. It said that um, people with opposite sex pets who uh -huh. really like them, and you said you did, um, it means they're really caring people in general in life. So. Oh. Yeah, it's very interesting Maybe, actually. Yeah, that's interesting. So it's the kind of idea that, you know, you meet someone and then if you find out they really like animals, they have a pet, yeah. it means they're, you know, you can trust them and they're probably huh. a good person. That's interesting. Cool, yeah. hey? Yeah. And is it true about her? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Aww. Whether you love animals or not, it doesn't matter. You have to understand that she does, right? So it's something that you should... Oh, the girls actually looked. ...be rude about or, you know, contradict. Why not say something positive about it? And there's an example that you can use all the time because a lot of girls love dogs or cats. Listen, can you tell her to just stop talking so much? She's uh, talking all the time. Is she always like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking because she doesn't really say yeah. much. Huh? But she's Hi. sweet. She seems very sweet. Yeah, she is. Sweet. Thanks. <laughs> okay, get physical by checking her muscles. Ask where they see themselves in five years. Get physical by checking her muscles. Let's try that. So you say you go to the gym, yeah? Yeah. And what about you? You do some stuff? Uh, just gym? do some yo jogging, you know? That's pretty Jogging? Nice. Yeah. Like when you steal someone's wallet and you run away? <laughs> that was a good one. Ah, something like that. Okay, wait, let me check your muscles. Oh, that's oh, not bad actually. Right? Compare? No, pretty weak, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, check this out. <laughs> Amazing, yeah? Like a, oh, <laughs> that's like a rock. rock. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. This is always kind of playful and fun. Lots of girls will say they go to the gym and do stuff, and this is a nice transition from there. Allows you to get a little bit physical, and it usually brings out some smiles. So it's something you can try. Well done, it's the right choice. But you girls are in pretty good shape, so I think you must do more than jogging. You do some sports. Well, sometimes I play squash, but cool. not as often as I wish. <laughs> okay, I play a little bit as well. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. That's great. What else? Anything else? Uh, I used to play basketball when I was in college, yeah. but yeah, it was a long time ago. And... <laughs> hmm, that's cool as well. Yeah. You watch the NBA anymore. or you don't watch it? Uh, I used to, yeah. I was crazy about it. But yeah, I have my job now and I don't have plenty of time, so mm -hmm. I don't watch it anymore All that right. often. Yeah. Do the strawberry sh fields routine show off? Um, there's only given us two choices. Do the strawberry... I want to see what the strawberry fields routine is. Because do you like psychology tests? Mm -hmm. Things um, like that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah we can try. Well, who yeah. doesn't? Come on. I don't know. It's interesting. Of course yeah. it is. Yeah. Have you done this one called strawberry field psychology test? No. Okay, Have try... No. Try this right now with me, both of you, okay? okay? So, maybe close your eyes. It will help. So, close your eyes. And you imagine you're walking in some beautiful place and then up ahead you see a field of strawberries. And tell me, um, there's a fence around it. How high is the fence? Just show me with your hands how high it is. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice one. All right. That's enough. And then yeah, you can put your hand down. And then uh, the next thing, so you go in there and you want to eat some strawberries. How many strawberries do you eat? What's your answer? I will eat as many as I can. <laughs> how about you? Me too. Loads of strawberries. Yeah, okay. Of strawberries. Ah, but then you've eaten all the strawberries, you're leaving, and then the farmer comes mm -hmm. and he's like, You ate all my strawberries. And then what do you say back to him? I would just say, I'm sorry. <laughs> what would you say? I'm hungry. <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> okay. All right. You can open your eyes. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you what it means, right? Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. So, the first one, how high the fence is, that's your barrier to sex. <laughs> yeah? Like how open you are. Because strawberries represent passion and stuff okay. for a woman. So, yours was kind of here, so it's like medium. Yours was really high. Uh-oh. Huge fence. So, it means, <laughs> you know, you're quite difficult to have sex with, basically. <laughs> anyway, you don't have to answer if that's true or not. But then the number of strawberries you eat is your sexual appetite. Ooh. Okay. 
So some girls maybe they say, oh, I always have like half the strawberry. And then she's like a girl that doesn't like sex. And then girl have a few strawberries, but you, yeah. what did you say? You ate every strawberry. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> okay. Oh, I want it. Yeah. And then the final thing is what you say after sex. So when the farmer catches you. So what do you say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, you're hungry after sex. Yes. Oh, That's perfect. so funny. Seems perfect I, to I'm me. sorry. <laughs> I think that was dead on. Psychological test win. <laughs> Whoa. Interesting. Now, if you can be bothered to learn this, it actually is another thing that works. Again, it's prepared, um, so it's not ideal. We don't want you to just learn a bunch of stuff and, and go out and repeat it. But if you do find yourself in a boring situation, you know, a date that's not going so well, uh, talking to a girl and you think she's not that into you, why not have it ready? You know, it's quite interesting. And you can always just say it's a psychology test that you um, saw online, right? So what do you guys do? What about you, Anya? I have a fashion store. Oh yes, yeah, selling clothes. Yeah. Nice. You? Um, <laughs> I don't work at the moment. Unemployed. Yeah, yeah. Tell her to hire a friend to work for her making clothes. Say it's great that she doesn't work and that you're jealous. Try to hook up with your friend Kareem, who can be her sugar daddy. <laughs> um, I'm jealous. Well, I'm. Sometimes unemployed, but it's put by choice. So for you, like you're, you're looking for something, or you're just. Uh, yes, I'm looking for something suitable for me, but. What's your dream job? I want to open a flower shop. Oh, that's nice. Because when when you yeah. said I don't do anything, I just thought you were at home painting nails, nails, and <laughs> like getting some no, food. No. And, <laughs> and you buy your own drinks and stuff. So yeah, that's all right. You're still independent. Yeah. <laughs> this is a nice, just um, playful answer. Good one. Yay. It's really nice, but do you have any bad habits? No. Drug abuse? No. no. Cigarettes? No. Ah, alcohol. Got that's, you. That's, that's not a bad habit. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that's all right. Okay, ask the girl, ask if the girl you like is a good girl, ask if she will fuck after a few drinks, ask which of the girls is sluttier, ask if, ask the girl if you like is a good girl. So Anya, I, I don't know why, but I trust you, you seem very honest. So tell me, is she a good girl? Yeah, she's a nice girl and very intelligent. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> she's nice, yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, she's a good, good friend. friend. Right. Instead of directly saying, you know, I like you, a nice way to do it is to bring the friend in and ask questions about the girl you like. I've seen this work all over the world and it's the right choice. Well, that's good that you were making better choices. Uh, actually, I'm honest. Yeah. Um, I want to tell you, uh, she has a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ask why she is talking to you then. Ask if she's going to marry him. Ask her if he satisfies her. Say... She must be bored with him and you can have sex with her twice a week. Say that a girl can never have too many dicks. <laughs> um, ask her if she's going to marry him. You got a boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, how long have you been together? For like a year. Oh, that's so sweet. So you're going to yeah. get married? I don't think so. I don't oh, know. Oh, no, that's really bad. So why? What's, what's wrong with him? Oh, oh that's good. Something. Yeah, problems. Uh, yeah. Unresolvable, yeah. interminable problems. But yeah, that's I think okay. So. I'm sure you still have some nice things in your relationship. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. Excellent. Because this allows you, in a smooth way, uh, to find out how serious they are in the relationship. Because if they're very, very serious, you want to back off. If they're not so serious, why not keep in touch with the girl, keep her around, and who knows, one day when she's sing single, swoop in ask if he would mind you two talking leave because she has a boyfriend ask if she thinks you could beat him up ask if he would mind you two talking let's try that one well look i don't want to disrespect your your dude so uh -huh. would he mind us talking no like if he was watching us right now and we were like he would be okay yeah yeah if we took selfie and he saw it he'd be okay mm, yeah i think so oh that's cool yeah he's kind of chilled yeah 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 Nice, that's good, right? Yeah. Not too jealous. 
Okay. This works psychologically because you're taking away her independence. You're saying, well, would you, would he allow you mm. to talk to me? Like, are you allowed to do that? So she's going to want to say, of course I'm allowed. I do what I like. And, you know, our relationship's fine. We don't, you know, I'm, I'm allowed to talk to other men. She's not going to want to say, actually, I'm not allowed. And, you know, I shouldn't do it because he controls me and tells me exactly what to do. So it's the right option. Very nice. Find out their plans for later and whether they live together. Ask if they've ever kissed each other and try to get them to kiss. Not to not in this fancy place. Did you make any plans for later? You can go no, carry on the night. No plans. Yeah. How about tomorrow? You don't need to wake up because you're. I mean, I mean, you're not working. <laughs> yeah. You need to open your shop early in the morning, or yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I I don't really need to do anything, so I can stay out. Yeah, you can. We need to get catch up <laughs> some beauty sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't need it. <laughs> exactly. This is an important step. You're finding out important logistics that will tell you how easy it is going to be later in the evening to uh, take one or both of the girls and do something with them. This girl over here is so hilarious. All right, try to get both the numbers. Tell the girl that you'd really like to take her out and involve her friend. Suggest so hanging all out together and take the number. Hey, listen, look, I, to be honest, I think you're really great girls. Thanks. You seem like really good girls and you're nice to talk to and stuff. So we should definitely do something sometime. We could play squash all together. Oh, yeah. Or we could go to a fashion show or something because, you know, that would be fun. Oh, yeah, so okay. So cool. why don't you, you give me your number and okay. then we can arrange something like to meet all together. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Maybe watch a movie or something. Yeah, movies are cool. good. Here you go. Now, if there are a couple of girls, why not take their number and suggest just meeting up again? Why do you have to be so fast and choose which one you want or, mm. you know, try to get that one on a date? They're together right there. Maybe you suggest that you, could, you guys can all go hang out again. Maybe you're going to bring your friend and you can take it a little bit slower, bring these girls into your social circle. And in the end, it probably would work out better in a lot of cases. Okay, well, it was great speaking to you. I'll, I'll leave you yeah. guys to it. Okay. Have a nice time for the rest of the night. Yeah, have a good night. See ya. Yeah. yeah. He seems a really nice guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe you should go out uh, one day. Um, cool. <laughs> Super seducer. This is the kind of PUA opinion opener. Um, it's very good in that it will often get you into a conversation. So it's a good choice here. Um, it's pretty much guaranteed to work. So if you have something like this for real, or if you want to use the one in this uh, clip, then it will actually work in the bars. Good choice. That's correct because, you know, I've trained guys all over the world and I... You'll notice that in the interaction... Are there any correct cho... Well, how do I... Oh, this is the one. This is a nice just... Oh, um, shit, I can't go back. This is a nice just um, playful answer. Good one. No, I want to go this back to see the, saying, the, the know, wrong like one. You. A nice way to do it is to bring... Oh, well. Back. Oh, well. Well, I think... That is a fantastic place to pause it, y'all. As always, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, follow, and we will see you on the next one. I'm going to take a little break, and I'm going to go play some of that card game. Shadowverse is the next one I'm going to play. So remember to keep moving forward!